So I figure, you know what? I'm already making beans. I'm up a little longer than I wanted to, although it's, it's really not late. I'm just tired from uh, doing my little uh, storage thing. The fact is, I might as well make some arroz con pollo. You know what I mean? Just make it. I'll have beans on the side. Uh, guacamole. I'll have food for the week. I'll freeze some of it. My fridge, I usually put it up on free, high number, which where things freeze anyway. So, uh, and so the, uh, the peel of the avocados, I gave it, I put it out for the deer. I'm thinking maybe they'll eat it because they eat the peel of the bananas and all that. Uh, let me show you something. So this is what I'm doing with the seeds. I'm going to let them dry and save them and pack them. Always wrap them in, in a paper towel. Let me give you an example. So if you don't wrap them in a paper towel, guess what happens? They go bad. Okay. Um, I don't know if these went bad because I never wrapped them in a paper towel, but you see how green they are? And I kept this just so I could do a video and show you that they go bad. So make sure you wrap them in a paper towel. You could actually wrap fresh cilantro, okay? You could wrap fresh cilantro, all right, in a paper towel, and it'll last for days when it's fresh, okay? So that's a secret. I'm just letting it air dry for now, and when it's dry, the paper towel is gonna, probably going to be dry too. Let me move these so they could circulate and let the paper towel breathe, and um, these over here get dry. I'll let them get air dry. Um, I really am supposed to roll it, so I'm probably going to roll it. And let me just show you how I do it, okay? Okay, so let me just do it before your face. Um, putting out some napkins here. They're a little thinner than the paper towels, but uh, I'm just going to put out these. The uh, These are big seeds for avocados. Why buy them, right? Why buy them when you could do it your, yourself? All right, so to be honest with you, if I roll this like this, even though it's wet, it's going to dry up, even the paper towel itself, and it's not going to go bad. Okay, so this is what I do. I roll it up like this, and I put it inside something that's meshy like this so it could breathe. And it'll be dry by the next day. So I have a collection of them. If I, I'm going to actually open some that have been dried so you could see the results, that they're still good. And, uh, oops. So here are the avocado pits. Okay, so I do everything fast. You see, <laughs> get it done and out of the way. Thank you for watching my seeds. Now I'm going to go back to the rice. Okay, so back at the farm, right? Um, you got to let this sit in water because this has cyanide uh, or whatever you call it. It's got toxins. That's why you have to wash it at least three times. And this is the good, the, I love this rice. It's the real tiny green rice. It's, it looks just like the, the, the Japanese one. You see how that water came out? So those are the old toxins. You've got to rice, wash your rice, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to wash it for your own good safety because you've got to wash out the, the toxins. Now, I already let that sit while I was doing the, the pits and all that, the seeds. So uh, back at the farm, I'm going to... I'm going to now boil some water. Actually, I'm not going to boil it here. Yeah, I've burnt some of my pots, but you know what? They're still good. Let me just get this out of the way because the real McCoy is coming. This is really heavy. And I'm going to put some water in this. Actually, no. Sorry. I'm going to pre-cook the chicken in here with peppers and onions. Okay, pre-cook the chicken in there. I'm going to put this on low heat at the burner. And you're going to see how quick I'm going to do this. Okay, so back at the farm. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? You're not going to die. Don't worry, you're not going to die. I do have these scissors that 
are supposed to help me cut the stuff and so I can't find them. Hmm. I can't find them, but I never use them anyway. I never use them anyway. Let me see where. I'm not even sure I know how to use these things, okay? I'm not even sure. I think it pulls out the stems also. <laughs> I don't know how to use this. If somebody wants to tell me how to use these things, I'd be so grateful. Okay? I'd be so grateful. So, yeah. I'm going to put this... Uh, I don't have time to make sofrito. T typically, you know what? Maybe I will do it. Maybe I will make sofrito. I don't have the right blender thing. But you know what? I don't mind things in chunks. Okay? So frito is just stuff that's been blended, you know? I mean, really, you don't really need to cut it. I mean, Italians, some people don't cut it. Some people cut it. Uh, frankly, it's not going to hurt when it's in chunks. See? So typically, what I'm doing now is, is really what that pair of scissors is supposed to do. So if somebody wants to give me a shout out and tell me, hey, Felice, you know, stop the rushy rushy, right? Cut out the rushy rushy. Because I, I just want to rest. Been working all day. I'm tired. And this is going to taste delicious anyway. Quite frankly. It is going to taste quite delicious. Okay? No matter what. No matter what I do. Oh my goodness. I got the fire on too high. Forgot I have the pot in there. So I'm just going to put... I'm going to put this in here because guess what? I'm not, I'm not in a rush to put this in there. I don't know why I picked this first. But, uh... Alright. So... There we go. Back to the fridge. <laughs> Easy enough, huh? Easy peasy? Okay. Oh, this is still this is still recording, huh? I was gonna pause it. All right, so back at the farm, I'm going to now just put this piece of chicken. Just putting enough chicken for one serving in the whole uh, chicken rice thing. Okay, uh, it's almost thawed, and you're gonna hear it crackling. Already put the heat down, put it off. So these things, these pots, they collect a lot of heat. So I put the heat real high and then for like five minutes and then I turn it off and the stuff cooks by itself. Okay. And sometimes, you know, I'll just turn it off, go to bed, get back up, finish cooking. Do, do it two more times, two or three more times until it's, and it's fully cooked by then. Trust me. That's how I cook. I, I, I don't have time to be cooking, right? But I eat really good because I know how to strategize, right? So, this is more pepper. This is going in. I could be making sofrito, put all this in the blender. That's typically the way Latinos do it. But you know what? It makes no difference to me. Quite frankly, this works just as well for me. Maybe even better, quite frankly. Okay, back at the farm. Okay. You see that juice? I hate to leave that juice there. Seriously. In fact, I'm going to collect some of this juice with this. So it goes back in the food. Don't worry. I, I washed my sink earlier. I have to disinfect it. Okay. So now, here we go. You see this peel? Guess what I do with the peel? I collect my peels, okay? And I make tea out of it, right? I make tea out of my peels. I don't discard anything. 
and I put cloves in it. And if I have garlic peels, I'll do the same. And I'm told it's really good for you. It's not the doctor that's telling me that. There was somebody on, on YouTube. But you know what? I can make tea out of this. Although technically tea is made of tea leaves, right? But you know what I mean. Okay, back at the farm. All right. Here we go. Here we go, girlfriend. One, two. Uh, and I got the, the, the cutter thing and everything. You know, the vegetable slicer. I sliced my finger one time with it. But uh, now I got the glove. Well, do I use it? That'll be the day you see me using it, huh? I'm just really lazy, aren't I? <laughs> you know what? Sometimes onions taste better when they're big in big pieces. They come out real good. Uh, I'm going to knock this video cam over. All right. I know you think it's gross, but you want to know something? The heat purifies everything, even if you think that my sink is not purified. What do you do when you do camping, right? You do things the best you can, however you can, right? And how about the people who... Uh, oh, my, my eyes... How about the people who are, you know, they live in vans. My eyes want to, they, I, to be honest with you, what the peel does to your eyes is very good for glaucoma. Extremely good for glaucoma. No joking. Okay, so uh, here we go. See, I put these things to use, you know? You think I throw them out? I put them to use, real good use. Yeah. Oh, my eyes. But th when when you your eyes tear, you're cleansing your eyes. And if you have glaucoma, trust me, you will heal from this. A a a and if you've ever seen those those spotty spots, right, that glaucoma causes, take a piece of onion. It could be as little as this, right? This is the top one, right? And trust me, you rub it in your eye. Just tolerate it, right? Rub it in your eye. Oh, my eyes. Oh, my goodness. And it's so good for you. I had glaucoma. I had the beginning of glaucoma. <sighs> All right. Now I'm going to put the fire back on. Back on high for a couple minutes. Let, let everything set. See? Look at this. Let everything set. Oh, my goodness. My eyes. Ooh. Ooh. Yahoo. And then my little sink garbage. Right? My sink garbage. And uh, this in, in no time is clean. No time. Oops. Here we go. Hot, hot water. Hot boiling water. You know, what do you think people do when they live in RVs? They don't even have water the way we do. And people who live in, you know, what do they call I forget what you call them. But they don't have any of this, right? So what, why are we all so uptight about how things look? How, you know, are they really purified? Are they really clean? When you go out camping, trust me. Not a whole lot you do. You know, when, when, when you go to a supermarket, you go camping, right? In the supermarket. See, I do know how to clean. I just uh, don't feel I need to impress anybody, right? So you go out camping, right? And what happens, right? Uh, you take the package right out, out, right out of the, the thing and, and, and you cook it. So no, no running water, right? No running water. See, that doesn't look so bad now, right? Just to show you that... I do know how to make things look better. Okay. So now I'm going to pour this in. Hold on.